Oh, yeah, so I missed all of, um, missed all of October. I didn't do half the Halloween specials I was talking about. I totally missed out on, um, any, any Halloween specials, especially on Halloween. Because I was busy, I was busy doing something else. And that kind of got in the way, and a whole bunch of other things got in the way. Which now puts me here, in this awkward situation. What a blast, right? Well, anyways, let's, uh, let's, uh, get back to the old, let's get back to the old intro, shall we? Welcome back to Unorthodox Reviews, I'm Billy, and um, as you can see, my setup is a sad shell of what it used to be. It used to be a table, and I have my props up here. A lot of them would be in this corner, but in this case, they're in the back and you can actually see them. But, today I'm going to be using this chair, because I'm making do with what I do have. And what I do have is a chair. I don't have a table at the moment. Unfortunately, I didn't buy a spare, because I was not in the... Um, I was never in the mindset that I was ever going to have to lend it off to somebody, but turns out I do, and now I'm going to have to deal with this, um, with this chair for however long this, um, this whole period of me, me without a table lasts. Well, anyways, today we're going to be talking about a nice little um, speaker over here. As you can see, it's right there, and the box is right over here. This is the mini Bluetooth speaker. Well, it's not, any, it's not just any normal vin like Bluetooth speaker, it's a mini vintage Bluetooth stereo. That's what it's called on the box right here. And as you can see, it is unboxed because I do not like unboxing. Because I just think it's a waste of time. And, well, wait, I mean, of course it, I mean, of course it was unboxed because it's, like, it's right here now. And as you can see, it's very small. But enough of me talking about how it looks like. Let's talk about about how it actually looks like with a review talking about how it looks like. So let's get this started. So here we have the the speaker itself. To turn it on, you simply take a twist of this knob right here, and it switches directly on. As you can hear, as you can hear, you can hear the you can hear it connecting. I'm not sure if you heard that, but um, you know, let's, let's take a look at it again. But I'm gonna show it off this time. It's not, it's not currently linked, so it's not currently set up to anything, but you know, that's how it works. Uh, so after you turn it on, I've turned it on three times so far, but uh, whatever. The rest of the knobs on this um, thing are pretty, are just basically cosmetic. They don't do much anything else. They're just there for decoration. The only thing that actually does something is this one right here. And this is the volume knob, and this is the same knob you just turn on. The overall thing is pretty tiny. The speakers are, um, the back wiring is pretty comp it's pretty good complex. There's actually a lot of wires to this. But unlike any other any of the other Bluetooth speaker um, Bluetooth speaker that I have reviewed, this one is, this one actually requires a plug-in right here. It's a uh, well, I can't really pull it up since it's very immobile, but um yeah. It's linked up to a uh, you have to plug this one into an actual outlet. And that's basically how this thing is called functions. You can't really um plug it into like you can't really just charge it up and have like move it anywhere it's actually like have a like it's a, yeah you have to actually plug it in which kind of stays true to the old stereo fashion which requires you to plug the thing in so there's actually not a lot there's actually a lot of detail for this for a speaker this tiny actually you can see all the um up here up here this is also cosmetic this little bar right here that's very cosmetic because if you turn it nothing happens like things and move nothing happens just it's just a lot of the stuff on the speaker is fairly cosmetic and none of it actually really functions just for that, and yeah, it's uh, it actually has one more feature that I'm going to um actually show you guys right now, but it requires you to unscrew the, um the thing a bit. So let's take a let's take a look, let's take a peek under the hood. Okay, guys, as I was saying, most of the stuff on here is cosmetic, and I unfortunately fell for one of the cosmetic things. The screws on the side are aren't actually um. You, you don't have to actually like unscrew them. It, it just kind of pops off on its own. So yeah, like, here's how it pops off, and I fell for that. Uh, they, nice one, Think Geek. Um, you guys got me there. As you can see, as you can see, a nice little detail. You can see some of the um, what are those called? I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna talk about them in the moment. You can see the rest of the. It kind of looks like the inside of an old um, speaker or stereo. You can see some of the Nixie tubes there, but um, you know they're not they're not genuine Nixie tubes. They're like nice little. They're, they're LEDs, but close enough to the real thing. The whole, the whole stereo has, a, has actually a faux um, wood finish to it, 
which looks kind of nice. I, I, I like that. And yeah, on the back right here, there is a aux cable port right here. You can you can actually plug in some of the aux cable things with there to maintain the the genuine um, vintage look of it. To try to plug in like a iPod hiatus off somewhere and just so I start playing around. And yeah, so you don't have to actually have a Bluetooth a Bluetooth parent device to actually use this. It's just there for it's just there just in case you, you know you don't want to use any wires. So now I bet you guys are asking me about the sound quality. And I'm going to tell you the sound quality is actually pretty good. It doesn't sound too bad and it doesn't sound dumb, you know. I'm going to say it doesn't sound fascinating and just, it's pretty good for a small speaker. But you probably had enough of them, you know, listening to me talk. The music for this song is going to be um, put in the description. The link for it, actually. You know, go support them, go look at his YouTube channel, go, you know, buy his songs. But, you know, I was going to say it. I was going to say that before I play this because I didn't actually ask permission for this. I'm just playing it. I'm just calling it as a, as a last minute thing. I didn't really have the time to um, plan ahead. So I'm just going to do it now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. It's kind of abrupt. See, so you can turn the volume down with this, raise it up with that. This is the high, this is the highest volume setting for the um, for the speaker right now. And I mean, it's called my um, my switch music over here is at like a it's like about a halfway marker. Yeah, around that. It's like it's a, it's a quarter of the it's like three quarters of the way to the front. But this is just how it sounds. guys that is the mini vintage bluetooth stereo and currently it's on sale for about um 50 bucks on uh thinkgeek.com it's a it, it's, it's a um thinkgeek exclusive they made, they made it themselves so it's kind of, that's the reason for the higher pricing if it was anything else probably it might actually be a little bit more or a little bit less as you can see i had to turn the lighting on because it was starting to get too dark but it's malfunctioning right now for some reason and if you, if you see those flickers, it's kind of just, you might want to just, I mean, I mean, it's kind of, you might have to bear with it because I'm like, you know, I, I, I don't know how to turn it it's like, it's just the light. So, just get used to the flickers. Anyways, um, if you guys want to hear, if you guys want any, like, links to anything that was in the, um, in this episode right now, if you could go down to the description, uh, I'll post most of it there. If you guys want to, um, you know, if you guys want to see more of what I have to do, hit the subscribe down there, um, favorite the video, like the video. Share the video if you guys want to see any more um, reviews of the unorthodox nature, and get me up there because currently my the video that has the highest views is um is one of my lava lamps back there. It's so in the far corner, like right uh, here, this one here. My fingers are when my fingers are down. This lava lamp got me a lot of views, but that's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I know I kind of missed the Halloween season, but I'm gonna try to get back on the course. But I'm not gonna promise anything because. Every time I do promise something, nothing ever happens. So yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid promising things and just do them. I'm just gonna do them, and you guys are not gonna expect what I'm You guys aren't expecting when they're gonna happen. However, there is a small little cameo appearance by that next under review. It's uh, you know, you might have to look for it, but it's in here somewhere. So yeah, um, thanks for watching the video, and um, yeah, as for me, I'll see you guys later.